Hello there and welcome to the channel. Tonight there is an awful lot to talk about because this week there have been leaks everywhere and I'm not talking about the kind of leaks that I'm used to here in Wales. We are talking about the kind of leaks that get sad people like me excited and that is around 04. We are also then going to talk a little bit about the launch of the DJI Goggles N3 because that happened today and no, I don't have a set because DJI hate me. However, some people I do know have got them and I am going to point you towards some videos at the end but I am going to share with you some thoughts along the way as well. Now before we get into the goggles we're going to have to talk about the big leaks and that is DJI 04. Now I have to be careful here because there is some stuff that I've known and I've sort of been talking about and haven't been talking about for a little bit of time. However, a couple of days ago, someone appeared on my Discord server and just dumped a load of information, which basically freed me up to be able to say what I already knew. Now, if you don't know what this is, it is a dump of information and I've put this on my community page on my web website, on my YouTube channel. If I just hop to the desktop view, here you can see the information on the community page. This is a, a bit of an info dump on what we've got and I'm going to walk you through this in a little bit more detail as well. Now, the real exciting thing here is yes, there is going to be 204 E units, E units, E units. There is going to be an O4 light but it won't be called an 04 Lite, it's just going to be called 04, and then there's going to be a Pro. The Pro is the one which has got everyone excited up until now, but don't be overthinked about the Pro because there's a lot of interesting stuff going on the light as well. Now, to walk you through the Pro first of all, this is an 04 E unit that supports Goggles N3, Goggles 3, Goggles 2, and goggles integra i can confirm we believe at launch dj will make this e-unit compatible with all four of those goggles that is goggles 3 and n3 that have just launched goggles 2 and integra although you will not have all the functionality on goggles 2 and integra and i will talk about that a little bit more in a minute for people who are going to ask the inevitable question, what about V2s, what about V1s? Sorry, no. At this moment in time, at the very least, V2 goggles are not having support. Neither is the original goggles. I never expected the originals to, but the V2s definitely aren't. Now, with regards to the main specification, 04 Pro supports up to 60 megabits a second live view feed, 1080p. That's what we have in 04 already. It supports a new mode called Racing Mode. That is particularly interesting. We'll talk about that in a minute. DVR-wise, it supports 130 megabits a second DVR with standard mode as well as D-Log-M. It records to an SD card. It does have an SD card slot, but it doesn't have much onboard storage. There is actually a view that's come up tonight of this ear unit in a bit more detail. I'm going to find that in a second and put that up because it does give us a bit more of an overview of what it looks like compared to the others. I'll bring that up and we will look at these in a second. There we go. We'll go back to the channel and we'll come back on to them. So we've got onboard SD card recording predominantly. It has the new one over 1.3 inch sensor at F2.0. It is a dual antenna design capable of up to 33 dBm of RF output. Now, the rest of the specification is quite normal apart from one thing. So it's going to support Rocksteady 3.0. Size-wise, it's 33.5 by 33.5 by 13 mil deep. And the 04 Pro with the camera is going to weigh 31 grams. Now, there are two things that are very exciting about the 03 Pro version. The first of them is the OSD support because we can confirm it will work with not only Betaflight OSD, but it should have basic iNav OSD support as well. Now, before you get too excited, it's not going to be sneaky FPVs fonts that you can upload and all of this stuff, but it will be, as I understand it, a basic iNav OSD support. For those who are asking about Ardrapilot, I'm no information at all. It's not listed. As far as I'm aware, it's Betaflight and iNav only. Now, the real 
interesting thing on the 04 Pro is something called race mode because DJI are introducing with the launch of both the 04 e units what they're calling race mode a mode that offers lower latency than we've seen on DJI's FPV system in the past on the 04 Pro DJI are saying latency will be as low as 15 milliseconds when using 04 Pro on the goggles 3 and it will be about 20 milliseconds when using it on the goggles N3. Now, this new race mode, we don't know a huge amount at this moment in time. The mode is obviously going to allow lower latency, but you shouldn't deem that as being the standard operating mode. What we don't know today is what the latency is going to be like in the normal operating modes. There is likely a payoff on the late, low latency racing mode. We do not know. If it's dual transmission or single transmission, I will expect it still to be dual. We still don't know what else the payoff is for race mode. I suspect it's reduced range and penetration, if I'm honest, but we're going to have to wait and see. Now, whilst all of that is exciting, we then need to get on down to this, which is the 04 e unit. And this is where hell has literally froze over DJI are set to release a single board ear unit that weighs less than 10 grams that supports 1 to 3S input voltage rating. Yes, I said it, 1 to 3S. Now, of that, we have similar specifications compared to the Pro, but there are some interesting differences. So it still supports 60 megabits a second, 1080p live feed. However, does have a reduce a higher latency compared to the pro ear unit whereas the pro ear unit when used with the goggles 3 in race mode is 15 milliseconds the light ear unit is going to be 20 milliseconds now we don't fully understand the reason for that yet is it as a result of the different camera i actually think it's quite likely dji have somewhat underclocked the light ear unit to try and keep the thermals under control because alongside the increased latency on the light ear unit there is also increased uh, sorry reduced bit rates for the video recording it's been reduced from 130 megabits a second down to 100 megabits a second so there are some things that DJ have had to do on the light what I believe is most likely to keep it under thermal control the light still supports Rocksteady 3.0 still supports beta flight and iNav OSD and as I've said it weighs less than 10 grams and size wise it's 30 by 30 by just 6 mil now with regards to the DVR on the light it does record but it doesn't have an SD card it only has onboard storage the light is said to have 26 gigs of onboard storage bit weird that the pro basically doesn't have onboard storage but does have an SD card whereas the light doesn't have an SD card but does have onboard storage now with regards to the other parts of it the light is a single antenna ear unit and it's only going to have one antenna rf output one pa and it has a reduced rf power rating as a result as well down to 30 dbm compared to the pro which is 33. with the light you're getting an ear unit that basically has pretty much all of the same main features as the pro but some things are a little cut back now there are some gotchas here that we do need to understand with this and i'll talk about that in a second but what i do just want to show you is some images that appeared on my discord uh today this is another look at a pro ear unit what's quite interesting about this image is it's upside down whilst it only looks that thin it is actually quite a bit deeper than that because the way the top of the ear unit comes up it comes up and over the top we don't have any images of a light as of this moment in time we only have images of the pro but here you can see it upside down with the sd card slot on the side you can actually see a single board down in there my understanding on the pro is it's technically single board, but it isn't. They've had to off board some stuff in the Pro. So it's more than one board, but it's one main board. But it is a different board compared to what you're going to get on the light. Because remember, the light only has one PA, one antenna, 
reduced storage. So they are going to be two completely different PCBs. Now, that's really all there is to show you. We do have images of the camera. So the camera is 20 mil wide. It has a 16 mil spacing mount, which is eight mil up and down from the center. And it has 16 mil from the front of the camera back to the screw spacing as well. So for those who want to make their own frames, you're talking 16 mil. So eight and eight, and it's 16 mil back from the front. I have heard some whispers. DJ might be trying to change this because they've had some feedback that this is a waste of time. But I don't know if that will actually happen in production. As I understand it today, that's how it's going to be. Now, as I've said, there are some gotchas here that we need to talk about quickly before we move forward. And the gotchas are... These two ear units will both work with all four sets of goggles. Goggles 3, the new goggles N3, goggles 2 and Integra. They have this new race mode, which allows ultra low latency, as low as 15 milliseconds with the goggles 3, 20 milliseconds with the N3. However, race mode is not compatible with the goggles 2 and Integra. You only have race mode on goggles 3 and uh, N3. What we don't know at the moment is what the normal operating mode latency is because DJI have only published the race mode latency numbers. The normal mode latency numbers for the Goggles 3 and N3 they haven't published. They have, though, given a hint of the latency on the Goggles 2 and Integra's in normal mode, and that's going to be about 30 milliseconds. But what we don't know is what these are going to be in normal mode. So we're going to have to wait and see. There is probably a couple of other gotchas that we don't know yet. There always is with DJI, but the truth of the matter is they intend to release two ear units and they are heavily going after Cadex, a 1S board that weighs less than 10 grams. The camera on the 1S board is said to basically be the same as the camera in the Neo. I didn't mention there, but the width of the camera is going to be 14 mil. So it's going to be like that camera there. Um, we're going to have to wait and see what the image quality is like. But yeah, overall, it is incredibly interesting. Is gyro in the VTX or camera? We don't know where it is, but it does fully support gyro flow. Both, both ear units support gyro flow. Um, it'll be in the camera. So, and both do so put alongside Rocksteady. It's the same setup as you have today. Turn Rocksteady off, you have Gyroflow. Now, with regards to a couple of other things, there's also 4K 4x3 up to 60 frames a second in the Pro ear unit available as well, which is very interesting for people who want that. We don't know anything about audio. I wouldn't expect audio. I know people want to ask for it. I just don't know if you're going to get it. The Pro works 2 to 6S voltage and the Lite works 1 to 3S voltage. So you've got lots of options there as well. We don't know if the cameras are swappable. We don't know a huge amount about the latency, the system, the quirks. As always with DJI, there's always a, a gotcha. I, I do need to answer something. One thing RC Ritter said, he said the uh, FPV Neo, pre, sorry, the Neo video feed is pretty poor. We should be careful in saying, people keep saying, and I'm a, I, I'll admit this as well. I say it's the Neo camera. It's not the Neo camera. It's a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor camera. People are saying Neo. We shouldn't be doing that. We don't know what the image quality is like. It is not the camera from it. It is All it is is a Neo size sensor camera. It might be a completely different sensor for all we know. Also take into account the Neo has a, a one half, sorry, not one over 1.3. One over 1.3 is the, uh, the Pro, one half inch sensor. We keep saying... Um, you, you keep saying the Neo camera, but it's not right to say that. It's a smaller sensor than the full size one. Um, there's a lot we don't know yet about recording modes and stuff. Someone said they believe you saw you could only record in normal. Look, there's a lot we've got to wait. Wait until it's released when we understand this. Now, with regards to price, nothing is confirmed, but the rumours are 
basically $200 for the Pro and the whispers are around 130 to 110 to 130 for the light but it isn't confirmed okay it isn't confirmed as for release date that is complicated no one knows for sure when this is coming out dji as i understand it want this out asap but there are things that have held it back my understanding is the FCC certification on the light ear unit held it back. That has happened apparently, and there are whispers launches set for the end of November, but i am not heard anything to back that up really. So, right now launches any time between the end of November and March next year. I don't think it will be March next year. I think it will be sooner than later but it isn't confirmed someone said sooner before the ban dj don't care about that dj have a far bigger problem than the ban dj's far bigger problem than the ban is they need to try and get 04 out quickly because i have heard on the grapevine that they have run out of 03 ear units as of now and i'm not saying there isn't stock out there to buy but I have it on good authority that DJI is unable to supply O3 ear units due to the upcoming release of O4. Now, this makes an interesting situation because that would imply, and it's almost guaranteed, that this will no longer exist. That would also mean it is extremely likely this is probably the the end of the vista run cam link i don't see any world where dji will continue to make the vista run cam link and 04 uh, units two of them especially it was in dji's interest to keep the others around whilst they had this because they didn't have two models but now I don't see any world where there is room for a Vista. And honestly, I don't know if it's permanent, but I have it on very good authority that DJ is unable to supply these now. And that could mean that O3 will vanish very, very quickly. Now, the problem with that is that if you're a V2 user, you no longer have ear units that you can buy to use with your goggles. That also stands for the V1 users as well. But this really does now feel the official hammer in the coffin for V1 and V2s. Things aren't going to dry up in, in instant instantly. You're going to have some retail time. But honestly, if you really want these, I would start getting a few there'll be enough stock around but if you really want this be careful because they could cease to exist very very quickly this situation is different compared to what we had before so hell has frozen over dji is making a 1s vtx incredible we weren't expecting it. I couldn't quite believe it when I was told myself, but it is happening. What I do hear is DJI has very much set its sights on CADEX. And it isn't just the release of 04 that tells us this, because today DJI have also released these, which is the Goggles N3. £229 goggle in the UK. And if we look in the US, they didn't quite make the 199. They made 229, but again, an incredibly cheap budget goggle. They support the Neo. They support the Avata 2. They will support the 04 and the 04 Lite as well. Now, I haven't tried them. I'm probably going to get a set in the next couple of days. I did post a couple of days ago about a shift in the marketing on these. I said on Sunday stream, and I'd been saying up until now, that everything I'd been being told was you were only going to get a release of the N3 with the Neo. You were not going to get the goggles on their own. 
I believe... Oh, that's broke. Um, I believe DJ changed their stance on that basically Monday. And they told people Monday that you will be able to order the N3 goggles of a standalone in the next couple of weeks. But there is no stock of N3 goggles standalone anywhere. You can't actually even order them on the DJI website yet. It simply says notify. Their intention is to supply them. I believe supply will start around the end of November. But here and now, if you want to get these goggles, you've got to get them as part of the Neo bundle, unfortunately. So it's a bit of a payoff. Now, there are lots of reviews out there on these. There's some really good ones. Uh, honestly, one thing I do want to say is please do consider checking out Sean at Geeksvarna's video. Sean is a friend of mine. He's a friend of this channel. He isn't someone who tells me anything. He's an absolute git in that regard. He won't tell me a thing as much as I poke him for information. And I can say now, nothing I know comes from him because he's t as tight-lipped as his wallet. However, he is a friend of the channel and he's a bloody good guy. So if you want the lowdown, please do check out the links to his channel. Um... But also, there are a number of other videos out there. I haven't watched Ken's. I haven't had a chance. I'll be honest, I've watched one video on these goggles myself. Um, and the only one I, I think I watched... Whose did I watch? Don't even know if it's coming up. Um, ah, sorry, Flight Path. I watched Flight Path's video was the one I watched. Um, and And they'll tell you everything you need to know. Today... These goggles are only going to support G2, um, sorry, Neo, to, Neo, Avata 2, and O4. There is no zero information on them ever supporting O3. I, I don't know if they're ever going to bring support to O3 for them. Um, will the N3 goggles work with the RC2 controller and Neo? I haven't checked. No. They won't. RC, you can't, no. Sorry, I do know that. You can't, you cannot use the RC2 with O4 goggles. So the RC2 can only be used with goggles 2 and Integra and V2s. Goggle, it's a completely different remote system on O4. The remote connects to the goggles, so the remote connects to these, and these communicate with the drone. You will not get goggles 3 and remote 2 in that combination or N3 in remote 2 in that combination. You just can't do it. You have to be goggles 2 and Integra remote 2, goggles 3, N3 with FPV remote 3. They have to go in those hands. RC2, oh, you're talking about not the FPV remote, the DJI RC2. You're going to have to check DJI specs on the exact in and outs, what supports what. I think you'll have to be, you're going to have to check what their specs are. You know, there's millions of combinations of what DJI do. Um, no release date yet on... So, the goggles, we believe, are going to be the end of the month. N3 and O3 together, no. No, there is no information that N3 are going to work with O3 or ever will. My, I, I would not expect N3 to work with O3. I don't think they'll bother. They, have, they will have no interest in doing that. They will just want to sell you an O4 light ear unit. That'll be what they're interested in. So, that is the launch information if we have it today. Now, one last thing I just want to quickly talk about is alongside the release of the new goggles, DJI have pushed out some firmware updates not only for the Neo, but also the Goggles 3 and the Avata 2 as well. And they've also brought some new features to the Avata 2 at the same time. Now, the new firmware release for the Goggles N3 is out and it basically adds support support for uh, the Avata 2 because they always release firmware for the goggles on the release day. Alongside this, there was new Neo firmware, as I've said, pushed out, which adds support for the goggles N3, adds live view stabilization. I need to try that. That looks quite interesting. Adds support for vertical shooting. So now you can 
fly vertically? No, don't know if you're going to be able to do that. Um, in mobile app control, added support for manual control in full screen and control stick mode, switching control stick settings. Hold on a minute. In mobile app control, added support for manual control. Is that manual? Is that acro mode? I'm going to have to try. Um, support to set the noise reduction audio. Nalada, ladder, 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 ladder. So that's the framework for them. DJI also, I'm going to have to go over to the FPV series for this to find it for the Avata. They also pushed out a firmware update for the Avata 2 as well, but I can't find the release notes for it. Why can I not find the release notes? DJI, you are freaking useless. Right. The new firmware for the Avata 2 from Facebook tells us they've now added power loop in easy acro mode to the Avata 2. This was the smart modes that DJI added onto the Neo and they've now brought them over to the Avata 2 as well. They've added support for the Goggles N3. They've also added new landing mode, which is supported on the Goggles 3 and the Goggles N3 when used with the RC Motion 3. And as always with DJI, they fixed some known issues. So, hell is freezing over. A lot of stuff is happening. 04, single board, 1S, unbelievable. 04 Pro, race mode, but we're going to have to wait and see when it actually happens. As I've said, shortages of 03, pretty much the end of V1 and V2 goggles. And these goggles, eh, they look okay, but we're going to have to wait and see. I'm hoping to get a set in my hands in the next couple of weeks to try, maybe even before the weekend. As soon as I have them, we're going to tear them down on the channel because that's what we do here. So if you're interested in seeing that, please do make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Anyway. Before we wrap this one up, I just want to say if there's any questions, anything you want to know that I haven't answered in this, please do put it in the links below. Also check out Sean's video. If you'd like to support the channel to allow us to keep making content in the future, please do consider checking out the links to my Patreon or buy me a coffee. It is only through the support of my patrons am I able to keep making content on this channel. And if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content in the future, please do consider checking it out. I want to say a huge thank you. And I genuinely mean this, a massive thank you to all of my Patreons. We would not be able able to do this without your support. Anyone who's given a penny, a pound, ten pound, a hundred pound, everything helps. So please do consider checking out, but a big thank you to me from those who have. Now, that's it from the live recording perspective. Look after yourself, stay safe, and I will speak to you soon. But I've got to say something first, because that sod, right, that absolute sod at your FPV, look what he sent me. That gitted FPV, your FPV, you! I'm gonna get you. I really am gonna hunt you down. So yes, I'm gonna wear it proud tonight because he had a batch of these made up and just randomly sent them to me. He is incredible. So yeah, there's definitely a nice belly there, that's for sure. That's bought and paid for, by the way. But I'm gonna get rid of that with a mountain bike.